Hi guys, I just want to make a quick video to uh, show you some of the updates that were made to the 2018 Model X P100D, which is the car I am sitting in right now. Okay, so first of all, uh, what you may have already noticed, um, but this is not specific to the P100D, this is across all the uh, Model X and Model S models. They have changed the color of the trim of the vents on the steering wheel and on the side handles from the chrome or the aluminum which it was for the last I don't know uh, four or five years of the production to this color they're now calling uh, graphite um, in my opinion it looks better but um, of course your opinion may vary but I think it's a, a nice upgrade um, what they've also done for the P100D starting in uh, June production time frame is that you now only have two options for interior colors so if you order a Model X 100D or 75D I believe you have around five or six color choices with the P100 you now only have two choices so you either have what they're calling I believe it's um, premium white or white premium and uh, black premium and that's it so for my particular model, I chose the white premium, as you can see here. But they've also made a change with the P100D. And now that even though you can still get the white premium on the non-P models, what they've changed is this particular part here on the other models where you can get white premium is now black on the P100D. And quite frankly, I like it. Um, when I had a 24 hour loaner, I had uh, not the white, but I had the cream interior and it was a sunny day and I did find it um, distracting at times with the glare. I can only imagine it being worse with the uh, white dashboard. And in my opinion also, I think it looks better. Um, it's a bit more elegant and a bit more sporty. I really like the way that they've tied in the black on the bottom of the dash as it goes to the white on the door there. I think it looks really cool. Uh, of course, the carpet is still black. The other thing that they brought for the P100D, um, and what I'm calling the 2018.5, is they've added, if you can see that there, a logo on the door sill. So before, I believe it just said um, Model X, but now with the P100D, it does say, P100D so you know you're in the P100D. There's other ways to tell as well besides the badge at the back but the red calipers is also another indication however you can paint the red calipers that's easy enough to do which I wouldn't uh, fault anyone for doing because I like the way it looks. Um, the other thing they've brought for the P100D is they have brought back the cooled seats. So if you may recall, originally this was a feature that was only available, sorry it's not focusing here, that was only available for the first I think 8 or 9 months or so for the production of the uh, Model X the first year it was uh, released. Um, but they promptly uh, cancelled or discontinued that option and it hasn't been available since. Uh, rumor has it is because uh, there was a lot of issues with the fabric um, creasing, the fabric ripping. So instead of um, having to deal with warranty returns, I suppose they just decided to not offer it altogether. But now they brought it back for what I'm calling the 2018.5 model of the P100D. They have made some differences though, from what I can tell from the original. So here are my perforated seats. And if you remember the originals, uh, people were having issues with tearing on the bolsters here because they had the perforations along here and I believe they're also along here as well. So as you're getting in and out of the vehicle, um, because of the holes and the way that this is contoured, it was considered a weak spot and it started to tear. Uh, you also had some wrinkling in the seat itself. From what I remember, and I could be wrong, but even with the, um, the white premium seats that you can get on the non-P that are, aren't perforated, this material actually feels a lot firmer. It's not uncomfortable, it just feels a lot firmer than what I remember. And also, the, um, as I mentioned, they don't have the, the holes on the bolsters anymore. And if you look at the back of the seat here, you can see that, if I remember correctly, I think the um, perforations are on that part as well. And they were over here, they're no longer here on this particular model. 
Let me just take a shot of the passenger seat so it's easier for you guys to focus on that. They've also added the perforations to the rear seats. However, the rear seats do not have cooling. I assume they did this for um, uniformity. So it looks pretty cool. So I think that's it. The extent of the um, changes that I've noticed so far in the um, 2018.5 P100D. Um, so far I like it. I've had the car for a few days now, but um, it's everything I hoped it would be and more. And I uh, hope to bring more videos to you guys. If you have any questions or um, want to see anything else about the car, um, please leave uh, your questions or comments in the comment section below. If you are on the market for a Model X or a Model S and you would like to get free supercharging, I'll leave a link to my um, referral code, which uh, I have uh, five spots available um, to anybody who would like to use my uh, referral code to get uh, free supercharging for life on their purchase of a Model S or a Model X. Okay, thank you and uh, have a great day.